So in any application we test, there is very small and tiny function that a user no often uh, use, but when they actually need this, it's very important to have one. It's forgot your password functionality. You don't uh, test it manually very often, right? That's why it should be tested automatically. And we will write a test for it. I will create a new test for this inside login. So uh, let me just copy this uh, scenario and rename it. So as for any other tests I use, I am opening a new page. I will need to create a user before and uh, I will use Rails API to do this. So I create a user, then I confirm it. So uh, I created a test and uh, executing the, it to check that I actually could create and validate uh, a user and confirm it uh, using Rails commands. Uh, that's the initial setup uh, I require to forgot uh, password functionality. Then I do what I always do, uh, do here in such situation, opening a website and uh, using post command. Unfortunately, I didn't specify the correct URL here. Empty string, it's not correct URL. So I'm running a test and uh, checking that uh, website is opened. Uh, I click uh, forgot your password link. Now I need to type in my email that was uh, used uh, by a user I just created. I, I type my email. Unfortunately, I don't know it uh, at this moment. So I will use uh, some dummy variable, uh, which I'll replace inside the test for, with the variable I created for email. I click restore and then uh, I expect actually that email was uh, sent. So inside the email, I see change my password link and uh, somehow I will need to access to it. So we go and replace our test with the commands from uh, we just created and we will check for the email as I said uh, that we will use for testing. Uh, then uh, I will check this command uh, from register test to uh, test the confirmation email uh, was received uh, for reset password instructions was received in this time. Uh, during the execution uh, of this test, I found out a very interesting uh, thing that uh, I will try to show you right now. I will execute this test in a debug mode. And you may also notice what happens here. So I am in, uh, putting in email, but it says that email is not found while uh, we are pretty sure that the user was created and uh, we see it from the logs uh, that was uh, shown. Uh, so we type in uh, email, but uh, the system can't find this user. Uh, why have this happened? Uh, let's enable pause on fail plugin to not close the browser on failure. And this really helps in such situations. We uh, enable uh, this helper manually. It's not enabled by default like other plugins. And uh, we run our test with p pause and fail plugin enabled. So uh, let's uh, see what happening here. The browser is not closed, so we can actually look and check what was the reason for failure. We see that the command was s text uh, and typing email and s 
charm was missed when we filled in this field. That uh, was the problem. So we typed in so fast that the system didn't recognize it, so we lost the first char. We will use fill field instead and uh, uh, use the same email. Uh, currently we will just copy paste it and then we click the restore button. Okay, so now I see the message uh, that I expect. Um, but you see, this is how we debug tricky cases with Concept.js. If something is failing, we add a pause on fail plugin and run tests with it so browser won't be closed on a failure. We checked what was wrong and we have fixed it. So now we replace uh, type with fill field. And this should correct the problem. Let's try to execute it in headless mode. We need to pass headless uh, environment variable to execute tests in headless mode. So as you have seen, no browser was shown, but the test has passed. Then we need to obtain uh, the link from the an email, click on it and get those uh, uh, password reset instructions. I am creating a new method in uh, email helper. I will uh, copy all these uh, API commands to uh, work with mail catcher or to open a specific message by its ID and copy the URL from it in this email and I need to uh, obtain this uh, link from HTML. I will use uh, regular expressions to find URL in message body. I am using uh, this copy from Stack Overflow regex for matching and I hope it will uh, take, uh, take a valid uh, restoration URL from the email. Uh, you see it printed us a URL from the message and uh, I can actually uh, print it to the console in debug mode instead of using console log to not pollute it for, uh, for all other tests, uh, the output. And I am returning uh, this uh, RS0 with a valid link to the test. I think the name of this test is not correct here because we are not clicking link. The click must go to playwright, but we can obtain a link from this method. And all methods that start with grab prefix uh, should return value. This is uh, the rule in Concept.js that all the methods that return something to a test must uh, be named with grab prefix. Let's go to a test. So instead of checking, like it, it should be grab email link. We add a wait here. So this is the first time we add a wait because uh, we add a wait in Concept.js only for the purposes where we need to get some values from a test. Sure, the function should be transformed to async in this case. Then I pause execution, uh, but actually I, I can do one thing because before pausing it's opening this link and see uh, where uh, I am at on this link. Let's try again without headless mode. So you see reset password uh, page. Uh, we didn't see this page before. 
that means that we correctly clicked on that link. So now from the terminal I can enter new password. It's admins1, very secure one. Um, you see I didn't quest by the uh, label name, there is lowercase p. There is confirm new password text. So uh, then I click the change my password button and I see the message that password has been changed successfully. Oops, I didn't copy it correctly, that's why I have some error. But anyway, the test has passed and the comments were saved. I'm quitting from this shell with Ctrl C. I don't usually do it, I usually use exit command, but in this case it was faster to close it. So I just copy successful comments and uh, I also need to check that password was successfully uh, changed. Uh, so probably I will add pause again because the browser was uh, has closed too fast that the last command was not saved. Let's enjoy again how the uh, restoration of password happens. And we check that uh, password has changed message appeared. I will put it directly to a test. And copy the locator from the previous test because we use the same locator for all messages and probably we should move this uh, locator to a page object in next videos. I also check that projects visible to user, so he's on the main page. And yeah, it worked. Let's copy it as well. And that's, that's it. We are closing tests, saving it. And we, now we can rerun uh, it in headless mode because, uh, well, if it works, it should be passing in, in headless mode. I don't want to see. And uh, we can run all of our tests in headless mode, just looking in the console where they at and what is happening right now. You see the login uh, passed. Now we are checking the restoration. It also passed. And what about registration? It also passed. 18 seconds, pretty pretty good. You will spend more time testing this manually. And I'm very happy with this uh, test because uh, right now I won't need to ask my uh, QAs to uh, change this functionality on every release. By the way, we were testing Testometeo application a test management system for automated tests which works great with concept.js, jest, uh, mocha and other testing frameworks of your choice. So uh, Testomatio helps you to make your tests visible and bring better reports to your tests. Thanks for watching and see you soon.